We're coming to you from the winter home of the Cincinnati Reds and the Cleveland Indians, Goodyear Baseball Park in Goodyear, Arizona. And today it's home to the 2018 Men's Senior Baseball League's World Series on APN as the Red Deer legend take on the Utah Braves. I'm Jeff Lowry with APNvideo.com. You're getting a look at the legends. They're led by Ken Lorenz, their manager. This is a team that is hoping for, well, their goal is to win at least two-thirds of their round-robin games, they told me before the game, and they just want a shot at getting into the playoffs. They're led by Mike O'Connor, Keith Sautner, a couple of outstanding players. they got one of the top catchers, Ramon Alexander. On the other side, the Utah Braves, led by manager Randy Double Hitch Miles, already double hitch. He'll probably be triple hitch before we close this thing out. He's got a very talented team led by Brady Field, Chad Foster, Craig Aramaki, and the pitching matchup here today, it's going to be Randy Coots for the Red Deer Canadians, and he'll be going up against the Southpaw, the hitman Gary Bowman. So when we come back, all the exciting play-by-play action of the 2018 Men's Senior Baseball League's World Series. It's the first game of round robin play. It's the Utah Braves and the Red Deer Canadian Legends all coming up next. As you get a look at the manager, Randy Miles of the Utah Braves, this is APNvideo.com. Randy Miles, first pitch swinging and a line drive base hit into left field, and this game is underway. Well, what an outstanding way to start the 2018 tournament against Randy Coots, the manager. Randy Miles out at first base, and the next batter is Craig, the drug dealer, Aramaki. He swings and hits a fly ball in the right center field. It's a long run, base hit. The ball gets down, and getting it back in is Adam Roberts. First two have reached here against Randy Coots. Back-to-back singles by Miles and Aramaki. First and second, nobody out, and a strike call to Chad. You're in the friend zone, Foster. Ready for the next offering, and it's popped up back and out of play. Beautiful day, 78 degrees, our game time temperature here at Goodyear Park, and a swing and a miss. On a slow changeup, a straight change, and Chad Foster is the first out recorded by Randy Coots and the Red Deer Canadian Legends. Now cleanup hitter, the sideshow, Brady Field. One of the big thumpers in the lineup, the cleanup hitter for the Utah Braves. First game for both teams in this 2018 MSBL series, and he lines one out in the right center field, a base hit. Randy Miles racing around third. He will score without a throw, and the Utah Braves lead it by a score of one to nothing. RBI single for Brady, the sideshow field. That'll bring up Phil Young, the catcher. Here's a stolen base attempt, and field a double steal, and it's two to nothing, Utah Braves. So a double steal executed by the Utah Braves. And now the catcher, Phil Young. And now the ball gets away. That's going to allow the runner to move to third. 3-0 pitch is taking ball four, and Phil Young has drawn a walk. Sixth place hitter, Alan Zentgraff. Two runs have come in here in the top of the first inning. The Utah Braves out in front, two to nothing. And a line shot, right center, base hit. Zentgraf is going to play to run here, and once again, they will be at first and third. So a three-run first for the Utah Braves, and they lead it three to nothing, and the batter is going to be center fielder Brad Hill.
Randy Coots wanted that last pitch. We may see Brian Loney in this game on the mound unless Coots can go really, really deep. Phil Letts, another one of their top relievers. And that's high ball four. And right now, Randy Coots has thrown a lot of pitches. Francisco Mendoza. Swing and a miss. Francisco, uh, outstanding all-around player for this Utah Braves team. Three runs in. And that one looked pretty good from up here. One ball, two strikes on Mendoza. And here's a chopper down to third, fielded there, throw home for one, and on to first, and the first baseman pulled his foot, but the umpire called him out nonetheless. That's not a very good call. And that'll retire the side, a successful inning, and that is not a very good call. And to be quite honest with you, as you look at the hitman, Gary Bowman, they'll be going up against O'Connor, Coots, and Sautner. I think the home plate umpire has to step in there. I think that's more his call than the base umpire because, quite frankly, the umpires are, you know, they're shorthanded. We've only got two of them out here. As the first batter lines a single in the right field and a leadoff base hit for the Red Deer Canadians as they trail three to nothing. And now the pitcher, Randy Coots. There goes the runner, and that will be a successful stolen base for Mike O'Connor. That's in there for a strike on Randy Coots, the starting pitcher for the Canadians. So Gary Bowman on the mound. But getting back to that call, I, as this one is swung on, fly ball, left field, Miles is under it, battling the high sky and the bright sun, and he's gone. So a nice catch, one up and one, or second batter up and gone, Randy Coots. Here's Keith Saltner. Got a runner at second base. Red Deer needs to get at least one run in here to try to counter a three run first. Ground ball foul. Moyes getting the start at first base. And here's a ball hit past the first baseman in the right field. Here comes the runner around third. The throw to the plate will hold him up. And they're at first and third. And the batter is going to be cleanup hitter Ramon Alexander. First pitch outside for ball one. Utah scored three in the first. RBIs by Brady Field and Alan Zentgraf led the way. The left-hander will now throw over to first again. Back. Ramon Alexander, the catcher on the mound. You saw a wide shot of the first and third situation. Pitch. And a rocket down the left field line. That's going to bounce out of play. Runner takes off. That will be a defensive indifference. No stolen base. Alexander at the plate. And a ground ball towards the shortstop. Foster. And a soft throw. Throws it away. That ball goes into the dugout. The run will score. Two runs are going to score. And it's now a one-run affair, three to two, as the runner takes second base on the throwing error mm -hmm. by the shortstop of the Utah Braves. Yeah. So with the error runner at second base, still only one out here, Steve Harding. Takes a strike, picture perfect pitch that time by the left-hander, the hip man, Gary Bowman. Three to two. As the Red Deer Canadian legends have battled back here with their manager, Ken Lorenz. Steve Harding at the plate. And a bouncing ball foul third base side. Nice scoop there by the third base coach. And that's the manager, Ken Lorenz. 
Base hit left field. They'll be at first and third as Miles quickly gets it back in. So they're on the corners. The Utah Braves defending champions in the 45 and over. They beat the California Hogs last year at Tempe Diablo Stadium and looking to repeat here in 2018. We've got them again against the Hawaiian Islanders later this week over at Tempe Diablo Stadium. If anybody's interested in a copy of that game, you can contact us at, well, look up our phone number at apmvideo.com. There's a swing and a miss. Batter up here is Adam Roberts. Ian Cato is on deck against Bowman. And a ball slapped to the shortstop. Here's the throw to second. They get the fielder's choice. The run will score, and it's now a 3-3 tie. So credit Roberts with an RBI. And the batter is Ian Cato. We're in the bottom of the first inning. So Utah scores three, likewise does the Canadian Legends. Gary Bowman battling against Ian Cato. Bowman sights a sign. He kicks and he deals. Strike two called. And Cato couldn't believe it. Two balls, two strikes on the left-handed hitter. Bowman ready with the next offering, and it is swung on, line to center, coming in hard as hell, and he'll make a sprawling catch to retire the side. But in the inning, they get three runs on three hits. They leave one. After one, we are tied at three, 25. Check that 45 and over division of the MSBL World Series. Jeff Lowry back here from the ballpark, and Brent Moyes will lead things off. It'll be Moyes, Patrick Littlefield, and Andy Campbell. This one's popped up into shallow right field, a long run, and the catch is going to be made for out number one. Slap to the right side, and Littlefield is going to be retired, so two quick outs. And now Andy Campbell soup coming up. Chicken, I'm sorry, Andy Chicken Noodle Soup Campbell. Now at the plate with Greg Bonner on deck. 3 3 tie, we're in the top of the second inning. That's inside a ball. Well, a gorgeous day for our national pastime here. Goodyear Baseball Park, top of the second, 3 3 tie. Two out, nobody on for Andy Chicken Noodle, Soup Campbell. Well, this is the second inning of work for starting pitcher Randy Coots. Fly ball, this is trouble, and that ball's going to drop in for a hit. So Andy Campbell comes through with a two-out single to extend the inning. Next batter up the third baseman, Bonner. There goes the runner. Here's the throwdown, and it's not going to be in time. So Andy Campbell with a two-out single and a stolen base. Here's a drive in the left field. Let's see if it results in a run. Here comes a runner around third. Here's the throw to the cutoff, man. The throw to the plate is late. They throw the ball away. It's an RBI hit for Bonner. And Greg will head the second on the throwing error. And it's now four to three. Next batter up is Dan Littlefield. And a nice play by the shortstop, but the high throw not in time. So Bonner with an RBI hit. Now Littlefield as the Utah Braves have strung three consecutive two-out hits together to produce the go-ahead run, and they lead it 4-3, to three, and we go back to the top of the Braves lineup and manager and left fielder Randy Miles. Whoa. 
Randy hits one deep into right field. That ball's going to drop in. Well, it gets by the right fielder. That's going to play one more run. And Randy Miles, an RBI double. He's two for two. And it's five to three in favor of the Atlanta Bra- uh, excuse me, the Utah Braves. In the air and in the left center base hit. Nice job by the center fielder, Roberts, cutting that ball off. Another run is going to score. Two runs are going to score. And I'll tell you, a lot of damage done here as Aramaki comes through again, his second hit. This one a two-run single to center field. And after the first two were retired quite quickly, Utah has strung together five straight hits, producing four runs and lead it seven to three. Fly ball by Foster in the right field. Long run and the catch is made. Well, that was a tough play out there, but Wakama comes up with it and the side is retired. Five straight hits produces four runs, seven to three in favor of the Braves. As we go to the bottom of the second inning, coming to you from the friendly confines of the winter home of the Reds and the Indians. Goodyear ballpark. The Braves and the Legends, bottom half of the second inning. First up is going to be Rick Sarita. And a diving play at first base. Brady Field with a glove, with a web gem, and there's one down. A spectacular diving play by Brady Field at first base. Hang a star on that one. Next batter, Loney bounces it to second. Easy play, two down. Nice job there by Campbell. So two quick outs, and here's Larry Waddell. First time up for the first baseman. Second inning of work for the hitman who was touched up for three runs in the first, though a couple of them were unearned. Two of the three were unearned. And the pop-up is going to be taken care of by the second baseman, Campbell, and an easy inning for Bowman. Goodyear Baseball Park. We're heading now to the top of the third, and here's Brady Field for the second time. He had a single RBI, stole a base, and came around to score the third run in that first inning. The Braves lead it 7-3 over the Canadian Legends. Tough play for Ramon, and he couldn't get there in time. Really had to battle that high sky. And Brady hits a line drive caught by the shortstop. And that's going to be out number one here in the top of the third inning for the Utah Braves. And now the catcher, Phil Young, is going to get hit by a pitch. And that will bring up Alan Zentgraff, who had an RBI single back in the first inning. The Braves lead 7-3, top of the third. Utah with nine hits, seven runs. So a hit batsman and now a walk. You got runners at first and second, and the batter's Brad Hill. Brad made a tremendous catch to end the Red Deer Legends' first inning on a sprawling catch. And here's a bunt, third base side, picked up by Randy Koontz. He's up. He throws, not in time. Too much speed, and the bases are loaded. And this Utah Braves team has had 
The base is loaded in each of the first three innings. That's an infield hit, so Brad Hill has walked and singled. And now Francisco Mendoza, who hit into a 5-2-3 double play. Umpires missed a call down there at first base. The first baseman clearly pulled his foot. Who knows how many runs they would have scored in that first inning. So the bases are loaded, filled with the Utah Braves. One out. Kuntz trying to work out of this third inning jam here in the top of the inning. That one is out of play. Hit hard out into right center field. That ball's going to get down, and it's going to split the outfielders, and three runs are going to score for the Utah Braves. Here's Francisco heading to third, and he is going to be in with a triple. Now the batter is going to be Brent Moyes, who flied to right field. That makes it 10-3 in favor of the Braves. Popped him up. Playable, possibly? Nope. Ramon can't find it. What a big hit that time by Mendoza. He really gave that ball a ride. Here's a chopper down the first, but foul. And they're changing their defense up. On an inning by inning basis, Loney at now playing first base. Check swing, line drive, base hit left field, and another run is in. The Braves have put four on the board here in the third inning and lead it 11 to 3. Brent Moyes with a base in and an excuse me check swing. Here's Pat Littlefield with a looper to right. The right fielder is not going to be able to get it. That ball is going to drop in. Five, six straight hitters have reached here after Brady Field lined out the shortstop to start this top of the third inning for Utah. Now Andy Campbell, who had a base hit, stole a base, came around the score and Greg Bonner's hit. First and third occupied. Still only one out here in the top of the third. High fly ball out in the shallow center field, and he can't find it. That ball's dropping in for a hit. Well, that'll play the fifth run of the inning for Utah. Andy Campbell with an RBI hit, and the onslaught continues. Stolen base attempt. Picked up by the shortstop, now bobbled by the shortstop. Rick Sarita, the second baseman, I should say. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Greg Bonner. Bonner, an RBI single in the second. He bats here in the third. And a ground ball towards the hole. The shortstop fields. He'll have to throw it to first. And he got his man. Fine, fine defensive play to retire the side. We're heading to the home half of the third inning. Back here at Goodyear Baseball Park. And what a commanding lead now for the Utah Braves. They lead it by a score of 12 to three behind the pitching of Gary the Hitman Bowman. Canada will send to the plate to lead things off. Bruce Oakawa, And then he'll be followed by pitcher Phil Letts and James Leckie. 12-3, 12-3, Red Deer trails it here in the bottom half of inning number three. We're coming up in the fourth inning. We will have our trivia question inning. And so hey, you better get those baseball thinking caps. This one's a tough one. Here's a pop-up towards the shortstop. The third baseman now calling for it, and he's got it out number one. Well, it's never a routine catch in Arizona on a short pop-up like that. One up and one down. Now the left-handed hitting, Phil Letts. Now Utah has been impressive. They scored three in the first, four in the second, and five in the third.
Two balls and one strike to Letts. Spells his last name L-E-T-T-S. The Sal Pauler Bowman kicks and fires, and here's a bouncing ball up the middle. The shortstop's going to field this one, and now he does, and he bobbled it a couple of times. That's going to be an infield hit. Hit number four for the Canadians. And we go back to the top of the order in Mike O'Connor. One for one, a single and a stolen base. Ground ball down to third. Nice play there. Throw it to second for one. No chance for the double play as O'Connor gets down the line well. And now they've called interference. So they call interference, and that'll retire the side as we head now to the top of the fourth inning. And we got a new pitcher on the mound, and it is going to be Phil Letts. So Randy Coots goes three innings, gives up 12 runs. Not all of them were earned. Dan Littlefield will be the first batter up, and he'll take outside for ball. 12-3 is our score as the Utah Braves bat here in the top of the fourth inning. Dan, a single and a run scored in a... Big four runs, second inning for the Utah Braves. Here's the pitch. And that one jammed him, and that's ball four. He's been on base both plate appearances. Well, they have pounded out a total of 14 hits through the first three innings, and now we go back to the top of the order. And manager Randy Miles batting for the third time in just four innings. Runner at first, nobody out. We're in the top of the fourth inning. All Randy has done is went two for two, two runs scored, an RBI double his last time up in the second. The Braves scored three in the first, four in the second, five more in the third, and lead at 12 to three here in the top of the fourth. The pitch to Randy is swung on and lifted in the air to center field. Playable, battling the sun, but the center fielder comes down with it. That's out number one. Again, no routine play on any pop-up today. And now the next batter is Aramaki, and he drills one to the gap. Robert over to get it, and... That's going to go for a two-base hit. And runners are now at second and third, so Aramaki three for three with a couple of RBIs and a run scored. And now the third-place hitter is Chad, the friend zone foster. <clears throat> foster looking for his first hit of the day, and he may have it. Here's a line drive. Base hit center field. One run will score. Here comes a throw in. And it is now a 13-3 lead for this Utah Braves team, and they're putting on a hitting exhibition here from Goodyear Ballpark. So Dan Littlefield has a couple of runs scored in this game. Aramaki at third, Foster at first, Brady Field. An RBI single and a run scored in the first. He's one for two. He grounds one to short. Could be two. They'll go second one. And the throw on to first is not in time. The ball gets away from the first baseman. The run scores anyway. And it's 14-3 to three in favor of Utah. A two-run top of the fourth inning. So now goes a fielder's choice. No error on the play. Aramaki scoring from third. Foster forced out at second, and now the batter is catcher Phil Young, who fouls it back. There goes the runner, and it's swung on and hit in the right field and hit well. That's going to get down. That's a base hit. Here comes Young to second. Here comes the runner around third, and he will score without a throw, and it's 15-3 Utah Braves as the hit parade continues, and the batter is Alan Zengraff. An RBI double. Phil had walked and been hit by a pitch and finally got a pitch that he could 
drive out into the gap in right center field. So he's one for one. He's been on base all three times, and here's another base hit. Grounded into center field. Brian Loney is being challenged at will in center field. First and third occupied, two out. And the batter is going to be center fielder Brad Hill. Eighteen hits in total now for the Utah Braves. Line drive caught at shortstop. That'll finally retire the side. They get one, two. They get three more runs. They have not had an inning in which they haven't scored three runs. And we go to the home half of the fourth inning. It is now 15-3 Utah. So Randy Miles has got to be very pleased with his offense here today against this Red Deer, a tough Red Deer Canadian Legends team. Gary Bowman now in his fourth inning of work, and this one is belted into left center field, and it's over the head of Brad Hill. And this will be an extra base hit for the Red Deer Canadian Legends. Well, he gave it a ride. That was Randy Coots. His first hit, now Zondner drives one down the right field line, but this ball is going to be caught. The throw comes back in, all the way to third, not in time. So it's a fly out by Keith, and a nice catch out in right field by Patrick Littlefield. Utah in the red uniforms, pop up, right center. That ball's dropping in for a base hit. And Ramon Alexander has an RBI hit. That is hit number six on the day against Bowman. RBI hit for Alexander. Here's Steve Harding. Fourth inning action, bottom half of the inning. Red Deer Canadian Legends at the plate. They're in the red, white, and blue. And they trail it 15 to 4. Our game time temperature 81 degrees. Ground ball down to third, and it ate up the third baseman. Allen couldn't quite come up with it. That's going to be an error on the third baseman, and that will keep things going here with one out for Adam Roberts. First pitch outside, ball one. First and second occupied with one man out, one run in. Utah on the field with the red tops and the gray pants, leading it 15-4, representing the visiting team. And the pitch is outside for a ball. Bowman gave up three runs in the first inning. And has done exceptionally well since then. He has scattered three hits in scoreless baseball as we play here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Uh, Ball getting away momentarily. Heads up play there by the second baseman, Dan Littlefield. Utah up. 15-4, 15-4, chopping ball, little field charges, and it's going to go right to the shortstop, and they get the fielder's choice. So runners are at first and third with two out, and here's Ian Cato. Next pitch, just outside. Phil Young still behind the plate for the Braves. Here's a pop-up, first base side, no one's going to get there. Good hustle by Brady Fields. And so two strikes on the hitter, Ian Cato, who flied the center field. And he lines one to the second baseman, who drops it but picks it up, throws to Brady Fields, and the side is retired. So in the inning, one run, and from Goodyear Baseball Park, we head to the fifth inning of play. 15-4 in favor of the Utah Braves in the first game of this 2018 MSBL World Series. First batter up, swings, wallops one, deep left field, and this ball is going to be a foul ball. A long run for Adam Roberts, who started the game in center field. 
Here's a rocket into left field. And Roberts is there drifting back, and he makes the basket catch with one hand. One down. So Francisco Mendoza, who had a three-run triple his last time up, The batter is going to be first baseman Brent Moyes, who had an RBI single in that five-run third. 15-4, Utah at the plate, and they got the lead top of the fifth inning. Well, it's trivia question time. Since 1971, six left-handers in Major League Baseball have accomplished the feat of striking out 300 batters or more in a season. Can you name them? Six players since 1971 has struck out 300 batters or more in a season. Line drive, base hit in the right field. Only two had done it before 1971. Sandy Koufax and Sam McDowell did it multiple times. McDowell did it twice. And I believe Koufax was the first one, first left-hander in baseball history to strike out 300 in a season. So Brent is aboard, and here's Pat Littlefield. He has grounded the second. He has singled. He's one for two. He grounds one to the right side. The first baseman bobbles it a couple of times. He won't have a play. That's going to be an error on the first baseman. And that's Brian Loney. Two on with one out. Here's Andy Chicken Soup Campbell. He has singled twice. He has scored a run. He's driven in a run. Utah up by 11 here in the bottom or the top half of the fifth inning. Here's a chopper towards the hole and into left field, and they will be loaded. Well, a big day for Andy Campbell. He is three for three now at the plate. The bases are loaded with one man out here in the top of the fifth inning, and a good cut there by Greg Bonner fouls it straight back. Bonner, an RBI single, his first time up, grounded out his last time up. Bases loaded, one out, the pitch, and a swing and a miss. Good pitch that time. And his second inning of work for Phil Letts. And here's a drive into right field. This is trouble. That's dropping in for a hit. It gets by the right fielder. Two runs are going to score. The throw comes to the plate. And it is now 17-4 on a two-run single by Greg Bonner. First and third occupied for Dan Littlefield. Littlefield has singled and scored. He has walked and scored. And a chopping ball to the right side. They'll try to get the lead runner at second for one, and that's all they get. But coming in to score is going to be Andy Campbell. And once again, the Braves have at least three runs in an inning. They've done it in each of the first five innings. Credit Dan and Littlefield with an RBI. And now Joe Sandoval added to the bottom of the order. So first time up for Sandoval. Good looking pitch right there by Letts who's behind in the count. Three more hits, three more runs, 18 to three, or I'm sorry, 18 to four in favor of the Utah Braves. They have pounded out a total of 21 hits. So a big, big day for Randy Miles' team. Ball four. So Sandoval is aboard, and now added to the bottom of the order is going to be Danny Pollock. He swings and hits one hard down the first third base file line. And here's a slow roller to the shortstop. Got to play at any base, but he elects to go to first, and he gets his man. Three more runs come across on three hits. They leave him loaded. After four and a half innings of play, halfway through this Afternoon affair from Goodyear Ballpark. Score now stands 18 to 4, Utah. So we go to the home half of the fifth inning. Jeff Lowry back here from Goodyear Ballpark. 
First batter up is Rick Sarita, and he pops it up, and, well, the shortstop had to come in. A valid effort that time by Chad Foster, and that's going to fall in for an infield base hit for Sarita. Hit number seven for the Red Deer, Canadian Legends. Next batter up is going to be first baseman Brian Loney. So Gary Bowman now in his fifth inning of work, the starting pitcher today for Randy Miles and his Utah Braves. Here's a line drive, and in the center field, it drops safely, throw to second, and they got him. What a fine defensive play out in center field by Craig Aramaki. That'll be an 8-6 to six fielder's choice. One down in the inning for Larry Waddell. Swing and a foul. Again, our trivia question. Since 1971, six major league baseball left-handers have struck out 300 batters in a season or more. Dribble foul, 0-2 now. The count on... Larry Waddell. Bowman hoping to induce Waddell into an inning-inning double play here. Runner at first, one out the pitch. Taken low for a ball. Nice stop there by the catcher, Phil Young. That's outside a ball. So Bowman, who got ahead, no balls and two strikes on Larry now. The count is even at two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. He struck him out swinging, and the batter is automatically out, but the runner will take second. So a heads-up play there. That'll be a stolen base. That's a strikeout of Waddell, and here is Oikawa. Bruce batting for the second time. He popped up to the third baseman back in the third inning. We're in the home half of the fifth inning. Temperatures in the low 80s here. Beautiful day, a little breezy. Bruce fouls this one back and out of play. Now the shadows are starting to creep in. Here's a line drive and just foul third base side. Randy Miles over to retrieve it. And he'll head back to his left field position. The pitch to Bruce. And a strike three called on the outside corner. Two strikeouts in the inning for Bowman. And we're heading now to the sixth. It's all Utah. Top half of the sixth inning, 18 to four. This is the third inning of work for Phil Letts. Randy Miles swings and hits a long, towering, soaring drive into left center field. That's going to be an extra base hit. Randy heading into second base with his second two-base hit of the afternoon. And Utah is off and running here in the sixth inning. He's three for four. And now the batter is Craig Aramaki up for the player of the game honors. He's three for three and make it four for four. Base hit center field. Randy Miles coming around third. He is going to hold up at third base. And it's a four for four afternoon for Craig Aramaki. First and third with nobody out. The Braves have scored at least three runs through the first five innings. Three in the first. They got four in the second, five in the third. And they scored three times in each of the last two innings. Chad Foster, the shortstop, started the game at third. And he skies this one. And the second baseman cannot make a play on it. That's going to drop in for a hit. That'll be an RBI. And it is now 19-4 Utah. That'll bring up Brady Field. He's been on base twice. He's driven in two. And he hits a rocket right at the second baseman. Fine play. Go to shortstop for one. No relay. But that was a tremendous defensive play by the second baseman. Two down. Or check that. That's the first out. Now the batter is Phil Young. 
Rick Sarita with an outstanding play, robbing field of a base hit. Here's a drive, center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. And the runner will come in from third base. Craig Aramaki, second run of the inning. It's 20 to 4 in favor of the Utah Braves. And we're in the bottom of the sixth inning. Phil Young at the plate. Outstanding catcher. He has walked. Been hit by a pitch and also has an RBI double. That's going to land safely foul. Larry Waddell battling that high sky. Here's the pitch. And a looper out into left center field. And the bases are going to be loaded as Alan Zengraff with a base hit. And he is three for three with a walk in this game. And now the batter is going to be the center fielder, Brad Hill. He lines one out into left center field. That's a base hit. Two more runs are going to score. This is an extra base hit for Brad Hill. Three runs are going to come in on a three-run double by Brad Hill. Three runs. How about that? Well, Price Waterhouse is going to have to come out here and tally all these runs for us. So all three runs come across. Second hit and three tries for Brad Hill, including a walk. And now Mendoza hits one, puts a charge into it, but the center fielder's got it. Steve Two Harding down. plays a very good center field for this Red Deer team. He's been covering a lot of ground. That'll bring up Brent Moyes. Brent has singled his last two times up. And he hits one softly to the second baseman. He fields. He's up. He throws. He got him. Side retired. They get one, two, three, four, five more runs. 23 to 4 Utah. They're putting on a hitting exhibition from Goodyear Baseball Park as we head to the home half of the sixth inning. And Gary Bowman in line for the win. He went the required five innings. This is the position in the lineup for Phil Letts who came in relief of starter Randy Coots back in the fourth inning. There's a swing and a miss, and down he goes. And the play will be made by the catcher. One down. That is three straight strikeouts for Bowman. We go back to the top of the order and Mike O'Connor. Mike singled, stole a base, and scored a run in the first inning, hit into a fielder's choice in the third. He bats here in the bottom half of inning number six. Utah with a big lead. And here's a line drive. Fair ball down the line. Good piece of hitting by Mike O'Connor. The throw comes in, but not before he has a one-out double here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Next up, the second-place hitter and today's starting pitcher for the Red Deer Canadian Legends is Randy Coots. Randy has flied out. He has doubled and scored. It's a three-possession lead for the Utah Braves in this game. You're watching APNVideo.com. I'd like to thank both these teams for allowing us to be a part of their MSBL World Series experience. And congratulations to the MSBL for celebrating their 31st year. That's a walk. I'll tell you, Bowman's control has been really good in this game. Ground ball, nice scoop by Fields. He'll go to second. Here's the throw to first, not in time. A great effort over there by the second baseman. Littlefield trying to cover the bag. That's a fielder's choice, two down. Runners are at first and third, and the batter's going to be third place hitter or fourth place hitter, Ramon Alexander, the catcher. Hey. 
Hit well, but it is going to be foul. Nothing and won the count on Ramon Alexander. RBI single his last time up, and he's down nothing and two. Bowman has struck out three. He's walked just one. Scattering eight hits. That's foul. Count holds at one ball, two strikes. Here's a fly ball left field and caught. Nice running catch by Francisco Mendoza. No runs. One, two minutes left on base. We're going to the top of the seventh inning. We have played two hours and 11 minutes so far, and the Legends are going to come out with their third pitcher. And coming over from first base is Brian Loney. So we go to the top of the seventh inning from the 31st Annual Men's Senior Baseball League's World Series. Here's a ball hit into right at the first baseman. He'll take it to the bag, and there's one down, Larry Waddell. That play goes three unassisted. Now Andy Campbell batting for the third time. He's three for three. 23 to four, Utah. I don't want to run that score into the ground because I know some of the Canadians are watching on. Nice play by their shortstop. And there's two down for Greg Bonner, fine defensive third baseman. Bonner two for three. He has two singles, two RBIs, and a run scored. He had a two-run single back in that five-run fifth. Or check that, a two-run single in the three-run fifth. That's a swing and a miss. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. So a nice job by Loney. We're heading to the home half of the seventh inning. 23-4 23-4 Utah Braves. It's the first game of this MSBL World Series. Here's a pop-up. First base side, Brady Field. One down. So a pop-up to the first baseman. Steve Harding is retired, and here's Adam Roberts. What a beautiful day for day one of this tournament. Unfortunately, it's actually officially day two. Yesterday, as you, as many of you know, you came in Saturday. Uh, one of the worst rains that we have uh, we've ever had. I've lived out here since 1986, and it was it had to be one of the top three or four that I've ever seen. Uh, the one we had four years ago where I-10 was under 10 feet of water as this one's grounded in the left field base hit. Good piece of hitting there. It gets by Francisco and left, but the runner's going to stay put at first base. Ninth hit of the ball game off. Gary Bowman, who's pitched a gem here, gave up three runs in the first, and since then has scattered six hits and just one earned run against a tough Red Deer team. Now Ian Cato, bottom of the seventh inning. We'll give you the answer to that trivia question in the top of the eighth. Six left-handed pitchers in Major League Baseball history with 300 strikeouts in a season or more. Some of them did it more than once. Not a bad looking pitch there by Gary the Hitman Bowman. High fly ball, shallow right field. The right fielder comes on. He'll make a very nonchalant one handed grab, and that's Craig Aramaki making it look easy. Two down. Sarita has a base hit. He was robbed on a great play by the first baseman back in the second inning. And he lines a base hit left field. He's two for three. 
Hit number 10 for the Red Deer Canadian Legends. Two out, two on. And here's Brian Loney who took over on the mound last inning. Here's a ground ball, slowly hit to the shortstop. They will go second one. They'll get the fielder's choice, and we're heading to the eighth. It's all Utah. They're up by 19 on APNVideo.com. Well, I think we got enough time to get a full nine innings in here. Dan Littlefield has been very busy at the plate. He has singled and scored, walked and scored, and drove in a run back in the fifth inning on a fielder's choice. 23-4, Utah on top. That one behind the hitter. Not a bad-looking pitch for second-inning worker Brian Loney. Ball four. That is the second time that Dan Littlefield has walked. Now Sandoval for the second time. He was added to the bottom of the order his last time up. Utah up big time here in the top of the eighth inning. And again, second inning work for Brian Loney, who played a lot of first base here this afternoon. Coming to you from the winter home of the Indians and the Reds. Goodyear Ballpark in Goodyear, Arizona. That ball is ripped foul by Danny Pollock. Jeff Lowry back here from Goodyear Baseball Park. Ready with the next pitch. I think that hit him. Or was it behind him? It was behind him. And then the last ball four, so the bases are loaded. So Sandoval gets on base, Pollock gets on base. The last inning for the Braves, top of the seventh inning, was the only inning they failed to score a run. Prior to that, they had a minimum of three, at least three runs in an inning. That'll bring up Randy Miles. Miles has had a big day at the plate. Single, double, double, RBI, three runs. He rips one to right. He's got a four-hit day, Randy Miles. One run is going to score. And I believe they're just going to go ahead and go station to station, and it's 24 to 4. So Randy, right now, his line score, four for five, three runs scored, two RBIs. And here is Aramaki, who is four for four. And he has scored three times and driven in two. He grounds one to the right side. The second baseman fields, goes to second one. And that's the first time Aramaki. And the run scores to make it 25 to four. His third RBI of the day, and now the shortstop Chad Foster comes to the plate, and he takes the first pitch offering called strike. We're in the 50 and over Cactus Division of the 2018 MSBL World Series. Chad Foster at the plate. Well, the answer to our trivia question, 
probably get us through the rest of this inning. Six left-handers since 1971 to strike out 300 batters or more. Foster a fly ball down the left field line, but that's going to fall safely foul. Most recent was Chris Sale last year, pitching for the World Series bound Boston Red Sox. Of course, Randy Johnson did it a multitude of times. Then you got to go back as this ball is hammered out in the right center field, another base hit. So Chad Foster now three hits. That plates another run. And it's 25, 26 to four. And the batter is Brady Field. He swings and hits a high fly ball out in the center field and a nice running catch out there by Steve Harding. There's two down. Next batter up has doubled and singled in his last two tries. He was walked in the first. He got hit by a pitch in the third. So he's two for two with two runs and an RBI. And talking about the catcher, Phil Young. And a comebacker to the mound, knocked down by the pitcher. He picks it up, he'll throw to first, and out. Uh, thank you call by the official. Well, another big inning. They score three more times and now lead it 26 to four as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And it's been a rough afternoon here for the legends. So we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Larry Waddell, the first baseman. Smash foul. Clayton Kershaw, also on that list of 300 strikeouts in one season. Randy Johnson, Chris Sale, Clayton Kershaw. Then you got to go all the way back to 1972 as this ball is ripped into center field by Larry Waddell, and he has his first hit of the ball game. So a leadoff single here in the inning. And next up is going to be Bruce. Up, oh, check that. This is Ken Lorenz, the manager of the Red Deer Canadian Legends, who now trail by 22. And we're in the bottom of the eighth inning. So Randy Johnson, Chris Sale, Clayton Kershaw, then you go back to 1972 in the Cy Young Award winning season for Steve Carlton, one of many, as this one's going to be caught by Randy Miles. And there's out number one here in the bottom of the eighth. And then the year before that, Mickey Lolish, who led the American League in strikeouts that year, barely beating out the Cy Young Award winner, Vida Blue of the Oakland A's. Ground ball right side, they'll go second one. And they'll get the fielder's choice, and there's two down. Here's O'Connor, and O'Connor has his third base hit of the ball game for the Red Deer Canadian Legends. A line drive, clean single to left field. New pitcher on the mound. Joe Sandoval in relief of Gary Bowman. And what a job by Gary Bowman. Seven innings, ten hits, three runs. And if you can believe it, only one of those runs was earned. That one gets through the second baseman. That's going to extend the inning. As the run comes in, and it's 26-5. to five. Bowman struck out three and walked one. And here's a blast into right field. That ball's going to get by the right fielder, and Keith Zontner has driven in a run here. He's got extra bases. Two runs are going to score, and a quick throw to first or home, not in time. So Keith Zontner with a long double to right field, a two-run job, and it's 26-7. to seven. Now Ramon Alexander, the catcher. And he skies one out in the left center field. That's trouble. And it's over the head of Randy Miles. He and Aramaki collide. Another run is going to score. And it's now 26 to 8. So the legends have come alive here in the bottom of the eighth inning. 
Now the outstanding center fielder, Harding. Here's a shot down the left field line. Ground ball foul. Well, for Ramon Alexander, his second RBI at bat. He's at first. This one is out of play. And another line shot and another base hit here by this is Steve Harding. So Harding coming through and another run is in and it's 26 to 8. Well, they just continue to hit with authority. Now the batter is going to be Adam Roberts. So a good finish here for the Red Deer Canadian Legends in the first game of this 50 and over Cactus Division, Division One, of the MSBL World Series. And that was a quick walk on four pitches and Sandoval really struggling. Now Cato. Well, well this may actually be the last half inning of this contest. Cato looking for his first hit. He was robbed on a great play out in center and he lines one out in the right center field, a base hit. So now the bases are loaded. And the next batter up is Rick Sarita, and he bounces one to third, take it to the bag, and the bottom of the eighth inning is over. We're going to the top of the ninth inning, so we will start another inning here in this MSBL World Series at 2.50. Uh, check that at 4.55 p.m. here in the afternoon. Fly ball out into right center field, and that ball's going to be caught. Nice running catch out number one. So Zen Graf is retired after a three-for-three three day at the plate with a walk, a run, and an RBI, and the batter is going to be Brad Hill. He's two for three with a walk, a run scored, and a three-run double back in the sixth inning. I got 26-8 to eight as our score. That's outside for a ball. This is the third inning of work for Brian Loney. And a one-out walk will send Francisco Mendoza to the plate, and he rifles one out in the left field base hit. So he is two for five, and now Brent Moyes will be lifted here. No, nope, he's going to turn around and bat right-handed. He's a switch hitter. We didn't know that. Moyes is two for four. He has scored twice, or his courtesy runner has. He's driven in a run, and he has walked to load the bases. And here comes the Utah Braves again. They're having a lot of fun out here with Patrick Littlefield. One for four. He's been on base twice, reached on an error. He has a single and a run scored. And again, we have 26-8 to eight is the score. I guess that part's a little irrele irrelevant. And I like this. No advancement of the runner on that wild pitch. And a hit batsman. That is the first RBI for Patrick Littlefield. 27-8 is the score. And now the batter is Andy Campbell. Three for four at the plate is Andy. He had a good cut at that high pitch. Third inning of work for Brian Loney, and here's a chopper up the middle and in the center field base hit. One run will score. And it is now 28 to 8. Well, the biggest lead that Utah has had so far was when they were up 26 to 4. Right now, back to a 20 run lead, and here is Greg Bonner. Bonner has driven in three runs today. A comebacker, throw it to third. They get the out there. Another run is in, 29-8 Utah. 
Next up on a called strike is Dan Littlefield, the final hitter in the lineup, though they added Sandoval and Pollock back in the sixth inning. Actually added them in the fifth inning. Here's a little looper to the second baseman who makes the catch. Well, they score a couple more and score three times. And as we go to the bottom of the ninth inning, first batter up, swings and hits a soft ground ball to first, and Brady Field will take it to the bag, one down. Or check that, Brent Moyes, who's been sharing the time over there at first base. Here's Larry Waddell, so Loney retired, one down, bottom of the ninth inning. Unofficially, it's 29 to eight in favor of the Utah Braves. Well, special thanks to Ken Lorenz and Randy Miles for having us out for this game. Here's a fly ball out in the center field, and Randy Miles has moved over there. He makes the two-handed grab. This guy set a good example. He's the manager. He can't be doing one-handed catches out there. So with two down, and speaking of... Managers, here is Ken Lorenz, the manager of the Red Deer team, and he hits it to the other manager, Randy Miles, who makes the running catch. The ball game is over, and Utah goes to 1 0. Game one of the 2018 MSBL World Series, final score 29 8. Winning pitcher and our star of the game is the hitman, Gary Bowman. Seven innings of 10 hit, one earned run, gave up three runs altogether. And Utah goes to 1 0. Jeff Lowry the saying, Men's Senior so long, Baseball everybody. League's World Series is celebrating their 31st anniversary. You're watching APN Video Sports.